Good morning folks, this is Naim Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. Welcome to our daily fundamental video analysis. The US equity market made one particular element very clear yesterday, that it, if, we, if and when we get a vaccine, the markets are likely to continue its journey to the upside. Yesterday's price action was pretty much a reflection of that. And if I can remind you, just a few weeks back, when Gilead Science also came out with its treatment of COVID-19 patients, we've seen the similar sort of a price action for the US equity markets, and the rally was pretty much similar as well. So yesterday's price action was a replication of what happened a few weeks back. So what is the key takeaway? That is what we've got to take from here. The key takeaway is, that if there is a vaccine, which we will get a vaccine at some stage, perhaps maybe at a later stage of this year, but whenever there is a vaccine, that means the social distancing measures can come to an end. So if those social distancing measures are not, uh, if, they, if they don't remain in place, that means business activity can continue to resume back to its normality level much quicker, much faster than what it is currently anticipated. And I think it is that particular element that we've seen massive surge in various different sectors, such as the airline sector, the cruise sector, the entire leisure industry, or this particular sector, seen massive surge to the upside yesterday. Now, of course, in the, in the early actions, as you can see, the US futures are still trading to the upside, but the price action over in Europe is somewhat confusing because firstly, what we've seen for the European markets as they open, the markets were trading to the upside, but now as traders are trying to assess the performance of that vaccine, the reality of that vaccine, then of course some of those gains, some, some traders think that it is a possible, possibly this is an opportunity to take some profit off the table and hence we've seen a little bit of a sell-off for the European markets. Now, for the in Europe, the Franco-German deal is very much up front. Germany and France forged a aid package and an aid package for the Eurozone yesterday and grants will be given to those EU countries who are, which are mostly impacted. And because of this, we've seen a surge in Euro dollar yesterday. And also what I'm seeing today in the fixed income market, especially in the Italian bonds, those yields are improving. Because if those grants are going to, get, going to go to the European countries, of course, Italy sits on top of this ladder because it is this particular country which was impacted the most. Now, to finish off, in the commodity space, as you can see in chart, the uh, crude oil, the upward trend, is very much still intact. Prices moved, prices for both Brent and crude oil moved more than 10% yesterday. And even today, both oil prices are up over 1%. So, what does this mean? Have we reached the ceiling? Or why those price movements are really taking place? Well, the price movements are, have taken place primarily because investors believe on this particular headline when it came yesterday that the oil demand over in China has reached pretty much to its pre-crisis level. So obviously that means more demand coming into it. But when we start looking at the forward curve, the forward contract, such as December contract for crude, it is still very much trading well below that $35 and then definitely well, well below that $40 mark. So that raises a question if we have raised, uh, if we have reached a ceiling in terms of oil prices. And in my perspective, yes, I think we are pretty much there. And we have gone up too fast and too quickly. Perhaps some sort of a retracement is also due with respect to oil prices. Finally, in, oil, uh, in gold, of course, we've seen that massive surge in, in, uh, in precious metal pro uh, yesterday. But as the risk on rally kicked in, investors were pretty quick to shave some of the profits. Hence, we've seen some sort of a sell-off in, in, uh, in gold prices. But remember, it is very much of a vaccine play. It is very much of a COVID-19 situation. It is very much of your general growth story. If there is a vaccine and a treatment, that means that the Federal Reserve doesn't need to 
kick in or initiate the process where interest rate can really uh, can, can go into negative territory. If that is not really go if that is not going to be it going to happen, then it means that the, that upward target of a three thousand for gold perhaps remain. The, perhaps there's a huge question mark next to it. Perhaps that will never happen, or it won't happen right now. Because if Federal Reserve starts to starts to move interest rate higher, we can possibly see the same scenario what we've seen previously during the financial crisis when Federal Reserve started to cut it, its balance sheet and it started to hike interest rate. At the time, gold prices started to fall, but. It is still too soon to say that because this isn't really turning on or turning off a light switch. We are talking about a global economy which has been under a massive influence because of coronavirus. That's all for today. See you guys tomorrow.